Hi guys, um, this is San Jacob Tur. Um, I'm actually at the moment sitting in my office and I thought I would quickly do a little video for the WhatsApp um, uh, broadcast. So one of the things that a lot of people worry about is chest pain. You know, chest pain is a really, really scary symptom and um, you know, we all get it. And when we get it, we get extremely anxious and worried that it could be coming from the heart. And, uh, you know, I get chest pains from time to time and I worry sometimes. Uh, so whilst it's true to say that, you know, if you ever have chest pain, it's always worth getting it checked out. I thought I would try and give you some tips on what makes pain more likely to be from the heart. Chest pain can happen due to a variety of different reasons, okay? It can happen because of the muscles. If you have pain in the muscles, if you've worked your muscles excessively hard, you can get pain. If you have an infection in your chest, that can cause chest pain. If you have gastric issues, that can cause pain. Anxiety can cause chest discomfort, but also the heart can cause chest discomfort. And in um, with the heart, it's a lack of blood to the heart muscle caused by a blockage or a narrowing that could cause the chest discomfort. So how does one go about in our own minds trying to work out whether the pain is due to the heart or something else? And there are some tips that I'd like to share with you, all right? So the first thing is, there is a mnemonic that you can use. It's called the OPQRST uh, uh, mnemonic, okay? And the first thing is, O, o stands for onset. Cardiac pain, heart pain, rarely ever starts like this, boom. It rarely ever does that. It usually starts gradually, it builds up and it may wax and wane, um, but it can go on, uh, you know, it's gradual onset. Second thing, P, P is provocation, what brings it on? For the majority of times, cardiac pain is brought on when the heart is doing more. When the heart is asking for more blood, the blood can't get there. So for a lot of people, provocation is walking, exercise, you know. If you're getting it, you can get it at rest, uh, but surely if you start walking, it gets worse. When your heart rate goes up, it gets worse. For the majority of people with cardiac chest pains, they tend to occur, um, usually during exertion or sometimes when our stress hormones are beginning to build up at the first time, you know, early morning when we're getting ready for the day and our stress hormones build up. Quality, Q for quality. Quality is usually not a pain. It's a tightness or a heaviness or a constriction, a band-like sensation. Okay, it feels like an elephant sitting on someone's chest. Very rarely will someone say, oh, it's like a knife. It's rarely ever like a knife. Rarely will anyone say it's very sharp. It's always dull, raw. It can be completely like indigestion. So it should never be, you should never think, oh, it's indigestion, it's not cardiac. It, cardiac pain can be like indigestion. R is for radiation, okay? Where does it go? A lot of people think it goes down the left arm, but it can go down the right arm. It can go to the back, it can go to the jaw, okay? It's very uncommon for cardiac pain to go above the eyes and below the navel, but it can radiate anywhere uh, other than those places. S, sight. Sight, so cardiac discomfort is usually right in the center, okay? It's a gripping discomfort right in the center. It's very unusual for someone to point, be able to point it as, oh, it's just there. People can't localize it. They generally say, oh, it's just here, like there. I can't point to it with one finger. And time course, uh, T is for time course. So time course, it usually goes on for a little while. So you can have angina, which can last three, five minutes, but if you're having a heart attack, the pain goes on. It can go on for half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. So those are the kind of things that are good tips to bear in mind if you get chest discomfort. But of course, if you are someone who is older, who has diabetes, who has high blood pressure, carry extra weight, certainly anyone above the age of 50, if you start getting discomfort in the middle of the night, always worth going and getting checked out. Don't leave it for the next day, all right? Once you've been checked out, then you can put your mind at rest. Otherwise, um, it's something that will stay at the back of your mind. But these tips hopefully will help you. Thank you so much.